Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I'm down here, actually, I'm taking a break. I've been actually outside working on the outdoor man cave, getting things ready for tomorrow, taking care of these leaves. You know, people always talk about, the leaves are so pretty. I love the fall colors. Well, you know what? If you love those fall colors, bring your ass over to my house so you can see plenty of it because i got all these damn leaves that are all over the place and what really pisses me off is i've got this one maple tree you know most of the other trees they drop them all off and they're done no not this maple tree this maple tree from hell holds on to them till all the other ones are done you go through you clean up and then boom it's down again. See, I, I didn't gone through. I didn't taken the blower and blown all of it. I didn't taken the lawnmower and, and chopped up the rest of them. I've done raked everything and it's clean right now. But I bet you by tomorrow it'll look like I never touched it. That, damn, I, I'm at war with this damn maple tree. But anyway, I was out here and you can tell I'm kind of kind of dirty here because I've been in the workshop painting some racks and everything else. And you know when I'm out working and doing stuff, it, it kind of is a time that I think. Um, about, about things. things you know i have all kinds of thoughts in my head and the things that are going on and i start putting together pieces of the puzzle and things you know it's amazing you know like i said it's fall it's cold outside but i remember when it was warm out you know the trees were all covered with leaves we were burning up and everything else and i remember michael irving saying this let, let, let's listen to this because you know, the, these words could be coming true, okay, and coming back to bite you in the ass. But let's just listen. With, with, with all of these OTAs and all of the conditioning you do, why do you do that? You do that to eliminate anything that will stop you to, 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 from getting a championship. So I, I, don't want, I, don't want getting, I don't want being out of shape. To cause me some football games, to cause me wins, so I get in shape. I run plays over and over and over again, so I can uh, perf perfect the play. Because I don't want a mistake to stop me mm. from winning a championship. Right. My job, my job as a player, my job as a leader, is to eliminate anything that can stop me from winning a championship. And damn it, now we have to deal with COVID. Because COVID can stop you. Two weeks out in the NFL, your season can be over. The right person out for two weeks. Your season can be over. Your season can be over. So don't tell me you really, 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 really want to win a championship and you're not eliminating this thing from winning, from, 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 from possibly stopping you. And, and, and guys, this, this, this is what gets me. I don't mind you coming after me. I don't mind you say what you say. Do two things up. Don't, don't, don't put me into your political discussion. Oh, eh, right wing, left wing. I don't give a damn about that. I only care about, I don't care about the right wing, left wing. I only care about a ring. Not the right wing, left wing, or ring. That's it. That's all I care about. <laughs> I, it's an indication to me how much you want to win a championship if you're not vaccinated. And I don't care what anybody says. Michael, let me ask you this. If, if we found out that Dak Prescott or Tom Brady were not vaccinated, would you say that Tom Brady doesn't want to do everything it takes to win a championship? Because it seems to me like he is, that's all he really cares about. Yeah, yeah, but okay, I, I, but I guarantee you Tom back. I, 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 I don't even know, and I hear people say, I guarantee you Tom back. Because you don't think, you, you, do you think that Tom Brady, the Tom Brady you know, the Tom Brady we know, that would do anything to win championship. You think he's going to let that COVID get in his way? Let's be real. Come on, man. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's be real. Why would, why would he do all that he's doing and then say, well, I ain't going to worry about this? It doesn't make sense. You know, um, looking back retroactively, I, I think, uh, let, let me start out by saying this. Um, I don't think that Amari getting COVID and being out for these two games kills our season. No, I'm not saying that that kills our season. But when you look at Aaron Rodgers missing the Kansas City game, where they were eight-point favorites, where they were on a roll, 
and you see that game right there and you say, have they won that one? They truly would be in the driver's seat because they only have one loss. Um, it may end up being that, that that's, you know, maybe Green Bay just continues going in a roll and that doesn't seem, won't seem to matter. But if we go through knowing that uh, Green Bay still has to play the Rams and, you know, of course, their divisional battles and things like that, if it ends up being that Green Bay, instead of being a one seed, is a two seed and that's playing an extra game, you can point back and look and say, well, you know, had Aaron Rodgers maybe been vaccinated and not missed that game, you know, maybe uh, they've been a number one seed. And playing in Green Bay? That you got to go to Green Bay late in January? Nobody wants to do that. Nobody wants to do that. So, you know, like you said, we're fortunate that, that, that Amari exiting is the game after, you know, Michael Gallup is returning. So, you know, you should feel, we should feel good at least that we have somebody in there. But Michael Irvin is right, though. If you have the right players, go out. At the wrong time, like uh, let, let's say hypothetically, let, let's say let's 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 think crazy right now. Hypothetically, let's say the Cowboys are set to play against the Rams. You know, in, in Wild Card Weekend, and we find out that Dak and Zeke both have COVID. Now, I believe both of them are vaccinated and stuff, right there, and so on. Um. But what if NFL is not giving you a break? You know the NFL is not going to give the Cowboys a break. You know that, hey, you know what? Not our fault. <laughs> you know? So we don't know who is and who isn't vaccinated on the team. You know, all we knew was, you know, we had a certain percentage of the players that are. But, you know, I think about what the players do to stay on the field on a regular basis. It's no big deal to go through and, and, and literally go into the locker room and get an IV because you're so dehydrated, getting that needle put in you. It's no big deal getting a shot of painkiller. You know, like, you remember uh, Jacoby Brissett? No, not Jacoby. Um, Tyrod Taylor. Tyrod Taylor was getting a needle in his rib cage so he could play that punctured his lung that could put him out for the whole season. You know. He's putting something there in his body right there. Between all the supplements and protein powders and everything else, between all of the surgeries and things like that, that players do to try and stay on the field, they try and do everything to be the best player that can stay on the field and so on. It just seems kind of, this is the one? Of all the things that you do, of all the things that you do to stay on the field, this is the one thing you say. Nah, I got, I got to draw the line there. I don't know, but I hope, I hope we we've been blessed this year that we've been able to withstand a lot of different hits from left and right and all that stuff. Uh, hopefully, that this is you know one of the last ones that we have, and we don't lose a key player in a key game. And anyway. Um, I've got to go out here and finish getting stuff together. Uh, about 3.30 Eastern, actually, Stuart and uh, a few of his buddies are going to be coming on. We'll be talking of uh, we'll do our pick segment, and we'll be talking some fantasy football and NFL news as we get ready for Week 11. You know how we roll here at the Joe Boo Sports Report. Um, I hope all of you guys are having a great day, and we will see you about 3.30. And just remember, you play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters.